In one corner, Andrew Cuomo, a deep-pocketed incumbent with a 23-point lead, loathed to give his opponent any exposure. In the other, Republican challenger Mark Molinaro, who knows his only shot is to get into the ring with Cuomo, mano a mano. It looks bleak for Molinaro until Cuomo pulls one of his sometimes puzzling moves that have been a hallmark of his 2018 re-election campaign. I am here. If you want to call me tomorrow, I will be here. If you want to do it with Mr. Uh, Molinaro, I will be here. Governor Cuomo turning a routine call into WCBS News Radio 880 into a political bombshell, saying that if the station calls him tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. and Molinaro is on the line, he'll debate him. If you want to moderate a discussion, I will be here. Gobsmacked, Molinaro says he won't do it without TV cameras. Get WCBS, get CBS Television, get Marsha Kramer right there, and let's let's promote it. You cannot expect that voters uh, uh, should should accept that two people debate with respect eight o'clock on a Saturday, no notice, no TV, no acknowledgement. That's not a debate. It's a staged fraud. A Molinaro Twitter tirade followed, first comparing Cuomo to the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz. Tell hashtag cowardly Cuomo to debate Mark Molinaro on TV. Then, hey, Andrew, you and me, debate WCBS Radio and WCBS TV. Weekday, one hour, be there. Come on, Governor. Get out from behind the, the mansion that New Yorkers pay for. Debate in a public way on TV. Me and you. A spokesperson for Cuomo said Mr. Molinaro has refused the WCBS invitation on the theory that listeners need time to schedule listening to a debate. It's an absurd excuse. Welcome to 2018 and new technology. Listeners now download and engage at their convenience. This situation vindicates what the governor has said all along, which is Mr. Molinaro only wants to debate the debate. Molinero told me that's baloney. This is a scam. This is a fraud that he's trying to per uh, perpetuate in order to check a box and say, see, I offered it. He doesn't want it. Give me a break. He doesn't want to appear before the public because he can't defend his record. Now, Molinero says he's also worried that Jewish voters who celebrate the Sabbath will be left out of a Saturday morning debate. But that still leaves an open question. Despite all the blather, will both men call into News Radio 880 tomorrow at 8 a.m.? Anyway, Dana. And will you be there? <laughs> A lot of questions. <laughs>